Hello again, how's everybody doing out there? This is the last segment of the Dear Church series this weekend, and it's titled Experience and Worship God. <laughs> I'm asking today, do you really know what worship is? Have you ever wondered about that? Heads up, I'm going to kind of read out of the Bible today, kind of, and you're welcome to join in. We're going to start in Matthews 15, It'll be in a few seconds here. Today I want to talk about worship. What is worship? What do you think worship is or should be? Now I'm going to start with the Bible I use. It's a New International Stewardship version, and I'll work out of that, if, they, if you don't mind. <laughs> Turn to Matthews 15, 8 through 9, and it reads, these people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are by rules taught by men. And Jesus said in verse 8, but their, their hearts are far away from me. That's pretty profound. For Jesus, this is unacceptable, as that it produces no results. It's not worshiping. It means nothing to him if there's no matter of the heart. So, you can do as many deeds as you want, go to as many church services as you want, and never be worshiping if it is all external and nothing is happening in your heart towards God. All true worship is essence in the matter of the heart. Turn to Romans 12 now. There's an the inner self essence of worship, and then there's more public expressions of worship services. There's corporate, and different things. And now in Romans 12, 1, I urge you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and a holy sacrifice acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. <laughs> I always thought I own my body. You ever thought about that? What if, you know, what if you sell or give your body to science? Who's own, who owns your body then? Let's think about that. <laughs> Newsflash, our bodies are not our own. Luther Lovejoy, this guy, is, he's out there a ways. He penned this about 90 years ago. Our bodies are not ours to own, to use as we please, to mistreat it, neglect it, overwork it, destroy it. Our bodies belong to God as a wise part of His creation and are held by us in trust for His life purposes. Wow, what are the ways of worship? I'm going to break this down to two categories. There's a whole bunch here, but we're two here. Let's just turn your Bible to Hebrews 13. And number one is acts of the mouth. Acts of praise and repentance in worship services or small group gatherings by your mouth. Number two, acts of love with your body and hands and your feet. Acts of love that show the supreme value of God by what we are willing to sacrifice for the good of others. Okay, now here's Hebrews 13, 15 through 16. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of the lips that confess his name, and do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. <laughs> if you notice in these two verses, the word sacrifice and sacrifices are connected to you, me, and worshiping God. It's singular, I, I think. We need to be right with God personally before our worship can get to Him. You know, we can worship in a thousand ways to glorify God, right? and I found out, basically. We can worship driving our cars, at least maybe until somebody cuts you off, <laughs> mowing your lawn, climbing a mountain. We can do it with our, self, our selfless service to our neighbors. Worship happens in cleaning up a stretch of highway, taking meals to shut in, caring for our health, and gathering together on Sunday for singing and dancing our praise out to God with the most beautiful music from one of the best bands and teachings in Colorado, right here in our own Greedy Vineyard. Come and find out. You know, Jesus has a path for all of us to worship. All you have to do is give Him your heart and follow Him on that path. Every step you take in His name, you know, He will bless you. Through Him, you will receive eternal life and be able to worship anywhere you want to and live again forever. That's it, folks. Have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.
Welcome to join our hospitality inspiration at 9.25 a.m. every Sunday morning, led by Cisco Davila and the blowing of the shofar by Bill Fry.